This is Dennis Body welcoming you to Great Music at St. James for another edition of Classical Sundays at 6, formerly Sundays Live. Coming to you from St. James in the City on Wilshire Boulevard, Classical Sundays at 6 is presented on the first and third Sunday of each month, live at 6 p.m., October through May. Our program this week features Judith Farmer and Friends, an ensemble of four performers in different registers. To begin, we'll feature two of the baritone members of the group in music for bassoon and cello by the Los Angeles composer Gernot Wolfgang. It was written in 2005 and dedicated to the artists performing it this evening. The work, titled Common Ground, is in three movements with intriguing titles, Blues Upside Down, Trading Places, and Igor at Last. The composer, Gernot Wolfgang, explains he was seeking to find a common ground between traditional composition and the groove-oriented world of jazz and funk. Coming on stage now, please welcome Judith Farmer Bassoon and Armin Sajikian Cello for Common Ground by Gernot Wolfgang. Yeah. <laughs> I can breathe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 
We've heard Common Ground, performed by the artist for whom it was written, Judith Farmer, bassoon, and Armin Sajikian cello. Music of Gernot Wolfgang has begun this edition of Classical Sundays at 6. We'll hear those performers again later, along with our other two guests, in a work for bassoon and string trio. Next, it's music for the soprano and alto members of our ensemble, one of the few works for the unusual combination of violin and viola. The two duos by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart were written to complete an unfinished set of six that had been commissioned from Mozart's colleague, Joseph Haydn's younger brother, Michael. Mozart came to the rescue by composing the missing two duos. The viola was Mozart's favorite instrument when he played chamber music, and it is possible that this work reveals echoes of the great Sinfonia Concertante, written some five years earlier. The duo number two is in three movements. The first begins with a slow introduction. The last movement is a set of theme and variations. The duo in B-flat for violin and viola by Mozart, Kirschel 424. Coming on stage to performance are Ambroise Aubrun, violin, and Virginie Davizac, viola.
The duo number two for violin and viola, the duo in B flat major by Mozart, Kerschel 424, performed by Ambroise Aubrun, violin, and Virginie Davizac, viola. To conclude this program with Judith Farmer and friends, we bring all four members of our ensemble on stage now for music by a composer known as the French Mozart. His dates, 1759 to 1803, place him roughly between Mozart and Beethoven. His name is François de Vienne, and he performed bassoon and oboe in the Paris Opera Orchestra for some years, and was indeed noted as a composer and teacher. A work for Bassoon and String Trio by François de Vienne, his quartet in C major, Opus 73, Number 1, with bassoonist Judith Farmer and Friends, concludes this edition of Classical Sundays at 6.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Music by François de Vienne, his quartet in C major for bassoon and string trio, Opus 73, number 1. Judith Farmer was the bassoonist. The string players were Ambroise Aubron, violin, 
Virginie Davezac, viola, and Armin Zajikian, cello. I'll be back in two weeks on March 6th with another edition of Classical Sundays at 6 when we'll have the Colburn Youth Orchestra conducted by Maxim Eshkenazi. They'll perform a work composed by the conductor and we'll also hear the two Larlesian Suites by the great French composer Georges Bizet. Classical Sundays at 6 is made possible in part by a generous grant from the Colburn Foundation in memory of Ed Edelman and by the generosity of the Friends of Great Music at St. James. To make a donation to help support the series, please visit greatmusicla.org where you can also see a list of our future events and view them live and on demand and learn about how to attend in person. This is Dennis Body inviting you to join us next time. Thank you.